Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowland here with the Urexel First Midvale and Newport Global Methodist Church, bringing you the devotional series in our way to God. Uh, we answer the question today, why we must choose Jesus if we want in eternal life. And there are several points here that this devotional track makes clear. Number one, it is Christ who came. As it says in John 10, 10, I have come that you might have life. Number two, it is Christ who loved us to die for us. It says in Galatians 2.20, The Son of God loved me and gave himself for me. Just as one man brought death, one man brought new life, as the Word of God says. It says through the death of the, or through the sin of the first Adam, that we all have death. And through the death of the last Adam, which is Jesus, we have life. And, and it says that in Hebrews 2, 14 to 15, he might destroy him who had the power over death. That is the devil and release those who through death were all in their lifetime subject to bondage. Jesus came to save you and I. And number three, only the blood of Jesus is the remedy for sins. Leviticus 17.11 says, It is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. 1 John 1.7 says, The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses us from all sins. And in Colossians 1.14, Fourteen, in whom we have redemption and through the blood and the forgiveness of sins. And so therefore we have salvation and redemption in, the, in Jesus Christ who died for us. Number four is Jesus rose from the dead. It says in Romans 6, 9, knowing that Christ having been raised from the dead dies no more. Death no longer has dominion over him. And it says in 2 Corinthians 5, 15 that... He who died for all, that those who that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for he who died for them and rose again. Jesus gives us the assurance in John 14, 18, when he says, Because I live, you live also. So we have that choice. Do you want that eternal life? If so, you can only find it in Jesus. The Bible for the fifth point makes it very clear that we must have the Spirit of Christ in us to be raised to eternal life. It says, Christ in you, the hope and glory in Colossians 1.27. And in Romans 8.11 it says, But if the Spirit of whom raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through the Spirit who dwells in you. And it says in Romans 8, 9, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not have life. So I hope that you can see that it is made clear that if you want eternal life, you can only find it in Jesus. Because only Jesus died for you. Only Jesus gave of himself for you. And so today and every day, we ought to be serving Jesus. In fact, as Paul says, serve the one who's died for you. Serve the one who's given you everything. So yesterday I presented with a choice of to choose life or to choose the way of destruction. And now we have the, the reason why. If you want to choose life, then you must choose Jesus. And I pray that you would choose him today if you have not. Amen.